What's up? I'm Tristan DeVette and welcome to the wild, rugged, mountainous country of Andorra. Come with me and let's explore it. Welcome to Andorra La Vella, the highest capital city in Europe. Join me over the next few days as I explore the capital city, La Massana and the beautiful mountain ranges in this country and some of the most underrated views in the whole of Europe. So make sure you stick around and see all of that and let's check them out. Andorra La Vella is not like a normal European capital city. In fact, it's actually far from that. It's tucked away high in the Pyrenees mountain range and feels closer to a small ski town than an actual capital city. Its population is 22,300 people, which if you compare to London's population of 8.9 million, it's over 400 times smaller than London. It is one main street full of shops and restaurants, which is definitely the best part of it. And it has constant views of the high peaks surrounding this elegant city. As you might know, I'm not the biggest fan of cities, and even one as small and as charming as Andorra La Vella couldn't contain me, and so I decided to head straight out to the mountains and explore. Here we go! <laughs> Up into the mountains we go! Whoa! So this is quite fast. cable car all to myself <laughs> going up to the mountains this is really cool it was only 12 euros to go up and down and I can stay there as long as I want uh, which is really cool hopefully there's loads of snow up there I'll be excited to see it all <laughs> experience. A little bit scary but the views are incredible from there and now I'm up in the high mountains with the snow. Okay welcome to Pal, a little ski resort up in the mountains in the northwest of the country. The lady at my hotel recommended me to come here because it has incredible views of the mountains and she said even if you're not skiing it's a great day trip to go there and view you know, the mountains and there's have some restaurants have some beer and stuff so let's check it out. away from that central bit because it's really really packed with people all going skiing and there's a few restaurants and stuff so it's really ram packed with people so I thought I'd come over here try and find a nice quiet spot to enjoy the mountain views and really experience these Pyrenees mountains for the first time. Even though it's completely covered in snow and over 2,000 meters high in altitude, it's not as cold as I thought it would be. I thought I'd really have to wrap up in my beanie and bring my gloves out, but it's actually alright, it's not too bad. And it's so beautiful as well. <laughs> I am planning on doing some hikes in these mountains, so I'm gonna have to really work hard tonight and try and find a peak that doesn't have snow all over it like this because this would just be impossible at the moment. But that is one of the reasons I decided to visit Andorra in January is because I knew all the mountains would be covered in snow and it would just be like 10 times more beautiful than it normally would. <laughs> the 
These mountains honestly just look so raw and unexplored. And I really can't wait to go up tomorrow and climb into the peak of one of them and just explore the natural beauty this country has to offer. Because I think it's so underrated. Welcome to day two in the beautiful country of Andorra. Today I'm going back up into the mountains to go and explore this magnificent scenery and see what this Pyrenees mountain range has to offer. Hopefully the peak I'm going to doesn't have snow because all of the ones I was looking up last night you can't do them until like May and it's January right now and it's, they're all completely covered in snow so hopefully this one's fine. <laughs> Wow, this is how it looks already. I'm so excited to get to the top. Because the mountains here are so steep and there's not much valley underneath them, the only way to get up is to walk straight up them. <laughs> and it's really, really steep. There's no like weaving around, slowly making your way up. No, it's just straight route, straight up. It's good, waking me up. <laughs> I'm just fighting my way up through these bushes and the rocks are all just like falling underneath my feet. <sighs> really difficult. I was just looking on the maps and I'm actually 1,400 meters above sea level, which is higher than any point in the UK, including the highest mountain there, Ben Nevis. And you can see in the distance, the mountains there are so much higher than I am here. Just showing how high up this country actually is and how mountainous it is. For such a small country to be so mountainous and so high up is really incredible. Beautiful mountain ranges. how high up I am right now. Like the town's just back there. It feels like I haven't even gone that far, but this, the height is just ridiculous. The altitude I've gained in such a short like distance is crazy. And it feels so wild here. These pine trees are so beautiful and they just match with these rocks in this mountain so, so well. And it's just incredible. I haven't seen anyone else. So it's really like I got the whole place to myself. Perks of coming here in January, I guess. No hikers, just <laughs> skiers. Let's get back to the hike again. a hard 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 hike most of it I was just scrambling my way up using my hands and and getting up the side of the mountain but the views are worth it for sure it's just incredible this country is so 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 picturesque and you might notice I've got a beanie on now and that's because I'm up high now so it's freezing but I don't care because it is so 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 beautiful um, I'm gonna do a little loop round through this forest and hopefully see some other views and see some of these peaks this country has 65 recognized peaks so there's just tons and tons of mountains on their own unbelievable for a long, long time. And this is the exact reason why. I love these pine forests, I love mountains with snow on top and just raw, wild nature to myself. No one else around. It's incredible, you know? And even though I knew it was gonna be fantastic, the views here are just exceeding my expectations by miles. got onto the ridge leading up to the peak now and the rocks here are really really challenging to walk on but the view is looking incredible <laughs> So 
So I finally made it to the top of this mountain after hours of hiking up the side of the mountain, scrambling up and going through the forest. Um, but it was all worth it. It is absolutely gorgeous up here. And from up here, you can really see why this place is known as the mountain country. Because everywhere you look, you just see mountains and peaks and valleys. And it just makes this place's ability to run as an actual country even more impressive given its tiny size and the fact that mountains cover almost every inch of this place. Um, it's just incredible how they do it. I then took some time to enjoy the views and be grateful for being able to do what I love the most in the world and being able to take you with me as I travel around the world on these adventures. I'm very thankful to every single one of you who has subscribed so far and I hope you're just as excited to join me for more adventures as I am to film them. Now enjoy some epic views of the mountains and I'll see you all next week. Oh, and I also want to give a huge shout out to the two friendliest Andorans I met whilst I was up high in the mountains flying the drone. They came over and said what's up and they were such cool guys and it was awesome to meet you too. So enjoy showing this to your friends and I hope you enjoy the video about your country. See you later.